expectations. We all have them. Expectations for our children, co-workers, students, and ourselves. For example, I fully expected never to give this talk in front of 250 people. At our first meeting together, Emily asked each of us what we thought about giving a presentation in August. When she asked me, my first response to her was, but I'm just an A. The response I was really thinking though was, oh, no way! Well, since I decided I was going to speak today, I thought about my expectations for myself, and I looked to my family for inspiration. My sister-in-law, Mary Ann Richmond, who is a writer-illustrator, has a new book that just came out at Anderson's and Barnes & Noble called Be Brave Little One. I used the line from her book as motivation. Be brave to be you on your journey begun. Let your heart lead the way. Be brave, little one. My daughter, Marissa, inspired me. She's writing her honors thesis this summer for her undergraduate accounting degree at TCU. As she was speaking with her professor, he suggested some way she could improve her research. However, those improvements weren't completely necessary, as her research to that point was acceptable. Marissa told her professor, if I'm writing a thesis, I'm not going to write acceptable, I'm going to write exceptional. Marissa decided she was going to do whatever it takes to bring her thesis to an exceptional level. Finally, my daughter Shanna also gave me inspiration. She just got promoted to a new position at the USO headquarters in Arlington, Virginia two months ago. On her third day of the job, she was looking for work to do. She spotted some paperwork and she were told, was told that they were surveys that needed to be entered for the last six months. They were surprised when Shanna volunteered to do them because no one had wanted to. Shanna told me, remember mom how you always told me when you were 16 working at McDonald's you would have done any job with a smile? I follow that same advice now at work. And that made me think. I've always asked my daughters to just do their best their entire life, whether it's taking a test or running the red ribbon run, and to do it with a smile. My expectation for them is to do their best, no matter what they're doing. And I realized I have that same expectation for myself. As an aide at Parkview, I wear many hats. I'm assigned to bus arrival and bus dismissal, lunch and recess duty, and I work with our EL students. All are very important jobs. However, I would say in my opinion, my most important job this past year was bus arrival and bus dismissal. Let me explain. <laughs> Three years ago, Parkview started transferring students to another school district within District 89 when certain grades were capped. That year, I kept track of the names of our transfer students on the back of a walkie-talkie. Two years ago, I kept track of our transfer students on this piece of paper. This past year, I kept track of our transfer students in pencil because of all the changes we had. This sheet of paper showed the buses they were riding on and what school they were going to. The X'd out names are students on my transfer list, but either their parents decided to drive them to school or their original bus also happened to be their transfer bus. I had to keep them on my list just in case they would show up. I would know where they would go. The second sheet of paper was by transfer school, which bus I was putting them onto in the morning. And I would check this before I would release the buses to go to their appropriate school. The third sheet was for dismissal, to make sure I take them off their transfer bus and put them on their appropriate bus or make sure a guardian was there to pick up the walkers. In the spring, we also had to transfer students from all three schools who were at the after-school tutoring program at Parkview. My expectation of myself this past year for bus duty was not to lose a student. <laughs> now, now, before school starts every year, Barb Peters and our principal has a meeting with the aides and we receive our sheet of paper that tells us our before and after school duty and what grades we monitor for lunch and recess. On paper last year, it said I was in charge of bus duty for arrival and dismissal. 
I may have been in charge of bus duty, but in order for me to expect to meet my expectation of not losing a student, I couldn't do it alone. You see, I can't expect the most from myself without the help and relationships I have with my coworkers. First of all, I couldn't have kept my three bus lists up to date without the incredibly, amazingly organized Stephanie Milani, our school secretary. With the number of new students registering, sometimes daily during the school year, and needing to get approval from a bus company before the students could ride the bus, she always knew who was entering and leaving Parkview, and she always made sure I was as up-to-date as she was. I had two amazing teachers who I worked with, Denise Urso and Sarah Nina, who understood how my list could change daily so I could feel confident doing buses, and they let me do my updates without question. I had five great bus drivers who knew my system and didn't let any students off of the bus until they were taken off to go to the appropriate place. On indoor lineup mornings, because of cold weather, snow, or pouring rain, I had the relationship with Bruce, who was my Arborview transfer bus driver, who let me put my Briar Fund transfers on his bus until our sixth bus got there to transfer the students to Briar Glen. The numbers change sometimes daily, but I was transferring 33 students when the school year ended, mostly kindergartners, who followed my expectations and lined up on the sidewalk at the label cones for their school every morning. This was important because we also had five buses unloading at the same time on the same sidewalk. I had two student patrols to help watch the transfer students by their cones in the morning. And lastly, I couldn't have done it without the help of Jackie Hansen in the morning before she left to go monitor K-1 lineup, and Jackie, Robin Kelly, and Anita Shaw, who were indispensable in the afternoon when all of the Parkview students were being dismissed, which had the tendency to get a little hectic at times. As you can tell, there was a lot of organizing to be done for just one part of my daily job. I decided to follow the advice I give my daughters, do my best with a smile. I decided to be the sunshine. We all have high expectations for this upcoming school year. With teamwork and the relationships we build with our coworkers and our students, I believe we can all do whatever it takes to meet our expectations. So the question you might be asking yourself is, did I accomplish my goal of not losing a student? Yes, I did not lose a student. But I can't really say I didn't lose a student. It is really we didn't lose a student. Thank you. Have a wonderful day.